explain with chemical reactions. We all know biodiesel is one of the big things in modern chemistry, as it is a possible way to face some of the problems related to fossil fuels. In fact, it's quite an easy and common experiment to make biodiesel out of used cooking oil. However, we decided to play with this simple reaction and try to understand whether it was possible to create biodiesel out of palm oil instead of the usual kitchen oil. Palm oil is an edible vegetable oil, derived from the fruit of the oil palms, also used for detergents and cosmetics. According to the World Wildlife Fund, the global production of palm oil has doubled over the last decade and is expected to double again by 2050 to 240 million tons. New plantations are being developed and the existing ones are being expanded in Indonesia, Malaysia and other Asian countries as well as in Africa and Latin America. So, we thought it would be an interesting raw material for the production of biodiesel. In order to make it happen, we adapted some protocols regarding the transformation of regular cooking oil into fuel. Firstly, we melted the palm oil in order to solve the other chemical reagents. We performed a vacuum filtration to eliminate any possible solid dross, as the oil wasn't consistent in texture. Preparing a solution of sodium hydroxide in methanol with a concentration of approximately 0.16 mole per cubic decimeter. After several trials, we conclude that the most efficient radio will be 100 ml of oil for every 40 ml of the solution. The next step was to mix both the composts. And so, we created what we hope to be biodiesel. Finally, we move to the testing phase. For that, we lighted a match and move it over the biodiesel. We realized that the flame will become stronger every time it touched our compost. Therefore, we concluded it was combustible. All in all, we had created biodiesel. Although it doesn't have a liquid form, there are some advantages to it, such as the easiness of storage and transportation.